bothering Boko. The island of Sodor was under a hot spell. The summer tourists didn't mind. They were bound for sandy beaches, shady forests, and scenic escapes. However, the steam engines felt put out. With fireboxes burning and boilers blistering in the sun, they grew cross and irritable. Boko, the diesel, didn't mind the heat. He loved the sunny weather and tried to cheer the others up. The steam engines liked and trusted Boko, which was more than they could say for most diesels. Unfortunately, this meant they often complained to him. It just never ends, James sighed dramatically. What never ends, quizzed Boko. My bad luck, fumed James. First, I get stuck with branch line work. Then, Bertie delays me at the station, out in the baking sun, no less. To top it off, I had to make up for lost time. I'm exhausted. You did well to get here so quickly, smiled Boko. A cool drink from the water tower is just what you need. Ha! sniffed James. That water's hardly cool when it boils in the sun all day. Boko didn't say anything more, but he had an odd feeling inside. Later, Boko brought passengers from Edwards Harbor to the big station. He saw Thomas shunting nearby. What a nice sunny day. Wouldn't you agree, Thomas? It wasn't very nice of the sun to bend my rails, grumbled Thomas. Now, I'm stuck shunting rotten trucks until my branch line is repaired. Oh, oh, oh! cried the trucks as Thomas bumped them fiercely. All day, the steam engines complained relentlessly. Boko tried to make them see the bright side, but his sunny disposition soon clouded over. It all came to a head when he found Henry fuming at the platform. Playing relief engine. Despicable. Donald's not ill. He just doesn't want to come out in this heat. I'm supposed to be resting. If you're so tired, snapped Boko, why don't you all just roll off to the scrapyard? The engines there would love to hear how you simply didn't want to work anymore when that's all they want the chance to do. Boko stormed off with his trucks, leaving Henry in stunned silence. Ridiculous, Boko muttered as he thundered down the line. Relentless moaning and groaning as if they're all so hard done by. If he hadn't been so cross, Boko might have noticed his cooling system was acting up. Suddenly, his engine coughed and spluttered. With a bang, Boko ground to a halt, wisps of black smoke rising from his vents. That's torn it, said his driver. That's what you get for being cross. Now I'll have to call for help. Boko was feeling very sorry for himself when he heard a whistle. Henry had come to his rescue. I'm sorry, Henry, sighed Boko. What I said was horrid and... No, Henry cut in. I'm sorry. We all are. We shouldn't have pushed our problems onto you. You always show us the bright side. It's time we learn to see it. Now, let's get you to the works. When Boko returned, the steam engines greeted him with rapturous whistles and cheers. He was overjoyed and never let bad moods get the better of him again. The steam engines took a page from his book and stopped complaining. Well, most of them. 
They'll be wrapped in trucks, muttered James. Why do I have to pull them? Flying along with a fast goods train is a splendid way to show off your red paint, Foco grinned. When presented like that, James was rather inclined to agree.